Hello, I am Tracker TD, and this is Let's Play Sonic the Hedgehog CD. Yes, I'm finally doing this after I teased it way back in my Sonic 3D Blast Let's Play. It's about time. Anyway, let's just clear a save here. Um, so yes, it's about time I got round to doing this, because I already had requests for which soundtrack to use and such. So, yeah, let's jump straight in with an awesome intro. And we're playing as Sonic. You're welcome for the music change though, folks. Anyway, this is Palm Tree Panic Act 1. Anyway, this is Sonic the Hedgehog CD again for the Sega Mega CD, which took advantage of the Mega CD's various features, such as full motion video for the intro there, and um, also for this game's soundtrack, of which there were two, the US and Japanese soundtrack. I'm using the Japanese soundtrack because I love it. Anyway, also, this game has a new gimmick, time travelling. Yes, Sonic can travel through time. As we should... Yep, here we go. So yeah, when this hedgehog hits 88 miles an hour, you're going to see some serious shit. Anyway, point is this. Um, so now we're in the past of Country Panic Zone. Basically, um, you have to travel into the past of each act and find the roboticizer of each act in order to um, stop Dr. Robotnik from shaping a bad future for all the animals of the forest and such. It's basically Sonic 1 with time travel. Oh, and for some reason all the enemies drop flowers instead of animals, but whatever. So yes, here's a roboticizer and ow. Destroy that, and all the enemies in the level instantly crumble. That's good. There's also a Metal Sonic hologram generator in each level, which, whilst optional, I may go out of my way to get. Anyway, I'm going to try and uh, get all the, um, and get all the good futures. I can't be arsed with the special stages, they hurt my brain. Anyway, out in the bloody difficult design. So yes, we've already attained a good future here by destroying the roboticizer and the metal sonic generator, so let's run to the end. I do much prefer this soundtrack compared to the US one, which the US one's not bad. No, it's a brilliant soundtrack. Spencer Nielsen did a great job on it. It's just that, um... I know, it didn't sound as sonic ish as this soundtrack. Okay, we've got a pass sign. There's a limited amount of these signs in each act, so you really do need to find a good place to, um, to time travel. Which can be difficult at times, and that is where the main challenge in time traveling comes from. Right, let me see. Is this a good place to time travel? Good one. And no. Crap. Let's try again. Also, whilst the stars are going behind Sonic when he's about to time travel, you are actually invincible. 
Also, I've noticed that this is a HD re-release where it takes five seconds to time travel, whereas in the uh, Mega CD and PC versions, I believe it was, uh, it only takes three seconds to time travel. So this this is a bit harder than it should be, but oh well. Okay, this should work. Hopefully. There we go. And so we time travel. It may seem slightly easy now to get to the past, but in some later levels, particularly Tidal Tempest, the water level, you'll find that getting to the past is a very, very painful ordeal at times. And I can't do multiple takes in this Let's Play because of the auto-saving that I mentioned. So, yes. I might have to die a bit in order to uh, get the good futures, but oh well. Here's a Metal Sonic hologram. I also have to be careful of the goal, so of the goal sign posts, uh, which point towards where the goal is, because then the screen gets locked from scrolling and I can't go back and look. Oh dear, that's not good. Right, I need to find this. There we go. So yes, we've now made a good future. That's good. So yes, Palm Tree Panic is now saved, and we can continue onwards. Oh. Onwards to the boss act. This follows Sonic 1's... Let's do a special stage for the hell of it. I'm probably not going to do many special stages. This is probably the only one I'll do, because I don't really like this game's special stages. I prefer Sonic 3's, if anything. They are better than Sonic 2's, though. Sonic 2's were murder. Admittedly, this HD port does improve these due to the uh, due to the improved scaling, but still. Um, so yeah, you have to destroy each UFO, and if you step in water, then 10 seconds gets taken off the time. That's what I heard. Well, I suppose it makes sense. Sonic does hate water. Although to be fair, that was easy enough. They do get a lot harder, believe me. And we get a Time Stone. This game's Chaos Emeralds. There's still seven of them. Or six, I forget. Um, and yeah. This game did come after Sonic 2 in 1993, so I'd assume there's seven Time Stones, but I could be wrong. So yeah. We get an extra life, too, because we had a hundred rings. And we get a move on to the Boss Act, which is now a good future. That's good to say. How convenient. Hmm. Also of note, this port adds the ability to play as Tails. Yes, everyone's favourite two Tails boxes are not actually playable in the original Sonic CD, but they added him in, which is a very nice touch. And here comes Eggman in his giant pink mech, which we can just attack from behind and kill instantly. But yes, this has been the first part of Let's Play Sonic the Hedgehog CD, and I shall see you in the next part, where we tackle Collision Chaos and meet Metal Sonic. Oh yeah, Metal Sonic. See you then!